This is an odd place, Tom. Very modern artish. But I wanted to talk to you more about nanostructure. The question is, how do we create such structures? Kathy, nothing I would like better. You helped me define such structures, and I was particularly taken by the concept of materials packed with interfaces. Yes, indeed. That I think is the most intriguing. Processing using severe deformation can of course introduce large numbers of defects and interfaces with appropriate treatment. Many studies on nanostructures use drawn wires or equal channel angular processing or in extreme cases imposing torsion on thin samples. But Tom, I heard that simply producing a fine grain structure is not enough. It seems that such materials are susceptible to plastic instabilities. Yes, sometimes the mechanism of work hardening is lost in the process of refinement. This means that the sample fails shortly after yielding. Extremely small grains tend to be free from dislocations, and hence the problem. I know that people have tried to introduce a bimodal distribution of grains, so that the larger grains are able to deform first but that kind of destroys the objective of packing interfaces. If only we could create the interfaces and throw in a bit of retained orsonite. Wow, I like that idea.